Hey everyone, welcome to me reacting to SML movie Jeffy Goes to Juvie by SML. Now, I have not seen this, and I don't really know what this episode's going to be like. I really don't. I, I, it's definitely not gonna be like Jeffy and Junior go to jail, I don't think. I don't know. I just, I don't really expect much from this one. All I predict is that Jeffy's just gonna do something bad, and then goes to Juvie for it, and then, you know, you just see him experience Juvie, but like in the way that like he screws it with everyone and basically just gets his way. That's basically what I expect uh, from this episode, and that's really it. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, reaching some description, make sure I've got something. So, some description, let's just get right into it. Oh, All rainy right, day. Guys, today, we're gonna be doing wood shop. Wood so shop. With the very dangerous and high powered tools on your desk, you're gonna be making a wooden sculpture. Oh Ooh. man, this hammer's so cool. Whoa, it's a real screwdriver. Awesome! Hey, Cody, tag your in. <laughs> Joseph, get away from me. You're gonna poke my eye out with that thing. Dude, it's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know what? Oh, oh, yeah, you like Stop it. Uh, teacher, what are we supposed to make? Anything you want. See, I made a birdhouse. Ooh. So get started, Kraus. Okay, teacher. But Joseph, put Cody down. But Cody, he's having fun. Oh my god, what? Oh. Oh god, I'm gonna throw up. Cody, I thought he okay. killed him. Aw, oh, dude, stop being a baby. I gave you a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Cody, what are you gonna make out of wood? I don't know. Probably a unicorn. Gay. Well, what are you gonna make? Ooh, a shark. <laughs> Straight. I know. What about you, Junior? What are you making? I think I'm gonna make a dinosaur. Oh, dope. Why did I only get tape and scissors? Because you're a girl. You can't be trusted with high-powered machinery. Us men can handle this, not you. Whatever. I'll still wow, make something better than you. Wow, sexism is sexist. Hey, idiot. Or it's just what sexism. Not oh, really a no, joke. I'm really sure you should be calling me names today. <laughs> Whatever, idiot. Oh. Don't do it, Jeffy. Don't do it. Uh, yeah. Teacher. Oh. Can I see the nurse? Is that an axe in your head? Yeah. <sighs> Crass, make sure you be careful with the tools. You only have 15 minutes. Uh, All right, should Christ, be dead. 15, 15 minutes 15 later. Minutes is up. I'm not going to come around to Crass and see what you made. Hey, Cody, check out my dinosaur. Hey. Sick dino, Junior. Not cooler than my shark, though. Hey, Penelope, what'd you make? I made a house. What a lame house. You didn't even put a door. I didn't what are you talking about? That's awesome. Junior. That's hey, an awesome house. Look at Penelope's lame house. That's she an awesome house. That means any guy can come and go whenever they want, like between her mom's legs. Oh, oh. Shut Oh my you god. Wow. All right. Wow. Hey, what did you make? I made a house. Okay, where's your door? Oh, I didn't have enough time. Okay, B minus. All right, Junior, what, what? did you make? It's a really good house. She only got scissors and tape. Great. Where's his eyes? Uh, it, it's a blind dinosaur. B minus. Uh, All right, Joseph. Yeah, it deserves. Oh, I made a shark. <laughs> okay, where's his body? Uh, B minus. Uh, All right, Cody, what did you make? I made a unicorn head. Oh, yay. Finally, someone who made exactly what they said. A plus. What? Exactly. Fair. All right, Jeffy. What did you make? I made a machine gun. Oh, oh my God. He finally do it. Everyone in the death line we practiced. So we'll call the cops. That's why he goes to Juvie. I thought Cody was going to do it. Thanks, Junior. Wow, nice music cut there. Well... All right, kids, I'm really? here. This is what he, safe now. Just everybody he goes to Juvie for a, going on? a cool, crazy. well, no. Calm down. Don't do I'm looking stupid. for a different I word. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay, just hand me the weapon. A crude, yeah, a crude, I guess. I, judge of that. I know a gun when I see it. All right, yeah. everybody, I got the gun. Let's run. Run for your lives. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This actually is made out of wood. Man, kid, you're in big trouble for getting my hopes up like that. I thought I was gonna be a hero today. Oh. But still, you're still in big trouble because you could get expelled for pulling a stunt like this. You're lucky I don't arrest you. Well, I'm sorry. Wait, so he's going to Juvie for a crude What's wrong, Marvin? school shooting I have this joke? Weird feeling that Jeffy did something bad at school today. Oh, Marvin, you worry too much. Just sit back, relax. We'll watch TV. Okay. And a kid does, yeah. Breaking yeah. news. <laughs> This student made a weapon during his shop class and sparked panic across the entire school. Cops are on the scene now, dealing with the situation. More on the story as it develops. Oh my god! I told you I had a feeling Jeffy was gonna do something bad. Hey, Danny, guess what? So I was doing my so I just got... in school, and your teacher Sorry. said I was doing. I just zoned out. I just and zoned out there for a second. Early, and now I never have to go back. Jeffy, what did you do? Your son did the worst thing imaginable. What did he do? Well, on the car ride over here, I was drinking Hawaiian punch, and he asked Tone. me if he could have a sip, and I said, "No, you have little kid germs." And he said, "Don't worry, you'll waterfall in." So he goes to drink it, and he spills it all over my car. It gets on the seats. It. Gets in okay. the it gets on the floorboards, big sticky 
sticky mess, and I am not happy. No, no, I meant what happened at school. That is oh, bad. Man. Yeah, that wasn't as bad. Yeah, he just made a gun out of wood, and everybody thought it was real, so they got scared. What? Hawaiian punch? What? But baby, we're past that part. No, I know, but it's just so red and sticky. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, I know. Me, I have to clean it up. I'm pretty pissed. No, 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 yeah, no. We, literally said his dialogue. Let's talk about at school. What's gonna happen? Oh, he's getting expelled. Expelled. Actually, well, yeah, not a bad joke, by the way. I was not expecting that. If he completes a one-day juvenile detention class school thing that I teach. Okay, when, when is the class? Yeah, so oh, I'm tonight. assuming yeah, that Jeffy's gonna get his way the entire time. Go to jail. So he has to pass it. And then by the end, Brooklyn guy's gonna say, "Hey, I don't want your kid anymore." He's well, terrible. That mean you're just Keep him here. Teacher? That sort no, of thing. They're bad people. It's not my fault. Oh, okay, so, so Jeffy's gonna go to the class tonight. And he's just explaining pass. what right, Juby is. Yep. All right. I just talked over what he's okay. him explaining Jeffy, stuff. Why did you do that? It's not my fault. I spilled the Hawaiian punch. He went over a speed bump. Well, no, no, not that. Why did you do the thing at school? Well, okay. The actually, said that I, I actually kind of find that funny. I made out of wood, so I made a wooden gun, and it doesn't shoot shit. What's oh, Jeffy language? Okay, look, let's just all calm down. Jeffy, you're gonna go to the class tonight, and you're gonna pass it. Okay. I Captain. Hey, do you guys have napkins? Like, like a whole bunch of napkins? Yeah, in, in the kitchen. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need a lot of napkins, though. Oh, okay, go, go to the kitchen. Oh my god, does it, why is this my life? <sighs> mm -mm -mm. This looks so oh. yummy! Hey, can I have some of these paper towels? Yeah, sure! Thanks. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I'm getting paper towels. You said I could. Why so many? Look, man, my car is covered in Hawaiian punch. I need this many paper towels. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. We're yes, really do. doing no, this? Don't. Hey, look over there. What? Wait, hey, stop it! Hey, what? You can't stop it. <laughs> what? What? God, he was so annoying. I feel like this bit is What's overextended, that? but it's kind of funny. Wait, what do you want? Hey, I'm going to need a lot more paper towels than this. Can I have the rest? No! Like, I feel like this bit is overextended, but like... <sighs> It's kind of funny. I don't want to be here. Oh. Hey kid, what colors your blood? <laughs> what happened to your eyes? It's like Juby. I was like, who are these characters? I forgot this is Juby. No, suit yourself. It just looks like Cody. Give me your eyelids. No. I said give me your eyelids. No way. That's just the devil kid. All right, all right. Settle down, you freaks. Welcome to Be Good School, where I teach you how to be good. All right, you are all menaces to society. The world would honestly be a better place if you did not exist. So I'm going to try to fix you. Now, there are three main rules. I wouldn't use that good. wording, honestly. The first rule is manners. Now, that includes it's kind of things offensive. like saying please and thank you. And according to my wife, not pissing on the toilet seat. But I do it anyway. It's not my fault you have to pee sitting down. Just pee standing up like a man. Anyway, who wants to give me an example of manners? Can I please start a fire? Well, no, you can't start a fire, but you did say please, and I like that. That's one step in the right direction, and then five steps in the wrong direction because <laughs> you asked to commit arson. Okay, well, I'll give you a real-life <laughs> example of manners, okay? Let's say you're at a restaurant. Oh, hey, he oh. Some chicken strips and a side of They actually got this segment animated, what? Chicken strips, but he forgets the ranch. I know who animated this. Me, I think you forgot this like my Nick ranch. Tendo says, oh, or something right, like that right by their and name? I don't see him for 15 minutes. Yo, SpongeBob title card. And he says, can I get you anything? And I say, well, I really would like my ranch. And then he says, oh, right, of course, the ranch. And then he disappears for 30 <laughs> damn minutes. <laughs> that face. And then has the balls to come back and say, I was hey, not expecting there to be animation in this. And I say, what you can get me is my fucking ranch. And he says, well, well, you can't talk to me that way. And Yo, I language. say, I can talk to you any way I want. Let me see your manager. And then he says, I am the manager. And I say, well, that's funny because your name tag says, wait a so go get me the manager. So then the manager comes over and says, is there anything wrong here? That and looks say, like yeah, somebody. Look at my dry chicken strips. I want some ranch. You're going to cut me this entire meal for free, or I'm going to put one of my ball hairs in the food and say that you did it, and I'm going to get this entire restaurant shut down. And then the manager says, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm going to comp you your entire meal. All your food is free today. And then I say, thank you. See? That's manners. I said Not thank really, you. but so okay. Did anybody learn anything? Um... I learned not to forget your ranch. Yes, yes, you don't forget the ranch. That's exactly right. I mean, chicken strips without ranch, it's like a car without tires. What are you even going to do with it? Yes, exactly. You're going to make an excellent eh. waiter someday. If I don't like ranch, so... Okay, now the second one is, 
helping people. You gotta help people. It's just the nice thing to do, okay? Now I'll give you an example. Mm. What do you do if you're driving down the street and you see a girl whose car is broken down on the side of the road? You stuff her in the trunk? No, you don't do that. You set her car on fire? No, what is it with you and fire? What kind of car is it? Why does that even matter? Maybe I can steal it, I don't know. But you can't steal it because it's broken, broken down. down. You shouldn't even yeah. want to anyway because that's wrong. I mean, to be honest, people? this scenario, you, you could either help somewhere. her or just not do anything. It's definitely fire. No, 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 no. All of you are But everything stupid. else Does is way worse than just not doing anything. Answer? Um, pick her up and take her on a date to Applebee's? But ew, no, not Applebee's. Were you even listening to anything I was saying? No, she'd be better off just on the side of the road. She'd be just as hungry. You know, she'd just have to wait 30 minutes to get her chicken tenders and ranch anyway. No, no, no. Well, no. Jeffy well, actually had a decent idea. He help. was close. So my grandfather. But I was getting. Was I got the joke. Rich. We're I mean, doing another really animated bit, rich. okay? And so he was in the hospital, and I was visiting. These him animated every day bits are sure definitely long. And then I see that he's on life support. He's being kept alive by a machine. Now, but I get thinking, it. It's like to be example. That? That's no way to live. By being the way, by a machine. Jeffy goes to juvie. The juvie segments barely have Jeffy in them. Like that was literally like the second clip with him in there. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do the right thing and I'm gonna help him and I'm gonna I'm gonna end his no. suffering and pull the plug. So I do, and he flat lines and all the nurses come running into the room, and I just say that I tripped on the power cord and they believe me. And then come to find out, what did he leave me in his will? A sofa! Can you believe that? I killed my I, I mean I helped my grandfather go to heaven. Or hell, probably, if all he left me was a sofa. Hey, wow. You know, Ask your dad. That is, uh, why is he okay. teaching? Thank you. See? Why there is he teaching? Why is he the teacher? If my grandfather's in hell. He all is right, a horrible so person. Why is he the teacher? And helping people. We just have one more left to cover. Now, does anyone want to guess what that is? Starting files. Eating people's faces. Great that the yeah, isn't that face eater or whatever? Picking your nose and eating it. No to all of that, because most of those were crimes, and the third one is the don't do crime there was only okay, one that wasn't a crime stuff like killing people stealing things yes, setting setting things on fire, fire. Is a crime. and what i did to my grandma that was literally was the essence so of the mayonnaise as an you instrument you yeah, from spongebob that. all right so now we're gonna have a test that will make you have to use all three of the be good rules okay and you have to pass this test to not go to jail but first i'm gonna have a lunch break and eat my very big foot-long imaginary sandwich i just hope it's not too big um he's choking we have to do something richard set him on fire while he's choking we should eat his face and we choke too let's just watch does he have a wallet i'm coming to help you yeah jeffy and then this is how he gets out Oh, Jeffy, you saved me. Thank you. Yeah, of course. C class, that was it. That was the test. Jeffy passed because he did all three of the be good rules. He helped me when I needed it. I said thank you, and he said you're welcome, so that's manners. And he didn't commit any crimes like the rest of you did by not helping me because that was the crime of criminal negligence. So Jeffy is the only one who's not going to jail. Oh, oh wow. So how do you think Jeffy's well, that was quick. school is going? I think it's going to be bad. Bad. You know, because it's called be good, so he's going to be bad. Be bad. Yes, like, Marvin. Be bad, like hey, then guess what? I passed. You passed? Sure so did. my prediction yes, was wrong. My imaginary life. You know, most students don't save my life whenever I choke on the imaginary sandwich, but your son did, so he passed. He learned how to be good. He learned his manners. He learned that he should help people. He learned not to do crimes, and he learned that he should get me my ranch at Applebee's. So does that make up for the Hawaiian punch? Mmm, I forgot about that before yeah. now. All right, listen, kid, you better hope I never have to see you again. Well, Jeffy, look, at least you <laughs> pass, you're not going to jail. Yeah. You need to put this whole thing behind us. Yeah. Hey, so I got a call from a kid with an axe in his head, and he said you did it. Uh, uh... All right, we're going back. Come on. Uh, oh, Jeffy. Okay, so honestly, this video actually wasn't bad. I actually kind of enjoyed it. I like the animated bits. And I actually did like most of the- most of the bits. Honestly, like, once Junior was out of this video, it was funny. Like, that's the thing. Honestly, and I- yeah, like, Junior being in this video was, like, really annoying, and he was, like, the only character that was just spouting terrible jokes that were just uh, being blatantly offensive, and that's it. Like, that's really it. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this joke was, I mean, no, this joke, this episode was fun. Honestly, I, I didn't mind it. I actually kind of liked it. Even though, as I've said, as I said, 
Like, this video with the Juvie segments didn't really feature Jeffy that much. It, it still was fine. I, I didn't mind it. Like, I did actually find the animated bits entertaining. I will admit, though, that did kind of extend the video a little bit too long, but it wasn't to an extent where it was boring. I will say that the whole, like, Hawaiian punch bit did go on for a little too long, but it was extended in a way where it was still funny and just not the same joke over and over again. Like, it went from just them being shocked over the Hawaiian punch and then Brooklyn guy stealing towels. Like, that that's, like, two completely different things, uh, even though they're related to the same situation. But yeah, honestly, this was... This was actually a decent video. I, I actually enjoyed it. But yeah, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye!